Hi guys, welcome to Kayla's Beauty Talk. Sorry I'm running a little late, hopefully you guys are still here. <laughs> Let's start with some primer. My hair always takes longer than I anticipate. <laughs> you just need a piece size amount of primer for your face, eyes, and everything. Primer is what helps you make up go on even, last all day. Goodness, just my mirror. Helps so your eye makeup won't crease and makes all your colors true to color. Hi Michelle. And it's just super, super soft. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Hi, Sarah. Okay. Brow liner. Let's use. Hi, Erin. How's everybody doing? Hi, Jessica. Hi, Tina. Just tune in on, make sure to say hi, tell me where you're coming from. You guys enjoy your weekend. Hi Becca. It is Sunday there, right? It is yeah, Sunday. Sunday fun day, y'all. I was gonna say that in my little description. Totally forgot. <laughs> Sunday fun day look. Hi Savannah. Hi Jody. Oh, I said I said an hour and like ten minutes ago that I was gonna be on an hour. Um, so I was running late there. But I guess if you didn't see that post, then you wouldn't think that. <laughs> Hi, April. Hi, Margie. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Savannah. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Miranda. Definitely please share. If you share, let me know. I'll give you a shout out. Because I really appreciate that. Let everybody see this fun purple look. Hi Jennifer, hi Cynthia. Of oh, City York, awesome. Whereabouts? Originally from upstate, um, outside of Rochester. Hi Amber. I'm going to in and out suggest leaving and coming back awesome Jody thank you hi Maria and if you guys haven't seen the look yet you're just tuning in go to the post right before this and you can see what look we're doing for today There we go. Brows done. Awesome, Sarah. Glad. Oh, thank you, Tammy. You just practice. Yours doesn't have to look the same. It's not about looking the same either. It's just about playing around with what you like. Sarah Tiger, awesome, awesome. Okay, what are we doing? We are gonna start with glamorous. That's what we're gonna start with. And I'm gonna try that color in my palette that I made. So I made um, our pressed or our loose pigments, um, some of them, not all the colors, because we have like a million, um, into pressed pigments. I just did this for convenience when I travel. I don't use it every time, like here now, but we're gonna, we're gonna see how glamorous works. I'm gonna use our, um, crease brush. Oh my goodness. I feel like I got cat hair somewhere. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Chuck. Oh my goodness. Charletta. I feel cat hair. It's like tickling my nose. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use some glamorous, which is a deep purple. We're gonna see how it works on this palette. So I haven't tried, I don't know if I've tried the mattes. Um, you know, as as pressed pigments here. Did you guys do anything fun this weekend? Hi, Ashley. Went to live with your husband, went down to, to Nashville, awesome. 
How's the weather this weekend there? Especially by the lake. Hopefully it's good. Left your boyfriend? I hope that's a good thing. Especially if you say you left. Sometimes splitting up's the best, you know. Hello, Brady. Hi, Sarah. Ten of us. Ten of you watching, or was that somebody, somebody else that I didn't see? Very good. That's good. Making game Friday. Lazy yesterday. That's good. Lazy days are nice. Some lunch on the water today. That sounds good. I keep trying to go outside anytime the weather's good just to get my tan going. <laughs> but I think most of this week's supposed to be rainy. Besides today. 90 degrees, CMA Fest, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Hi, Lydia. Lydia, goodness. Try to talk too fast. Okay, do I want to bring, I gotta look at this picture now. Hi, Sherry, hi, Gina, hi, Rosie. Two seconds. I gotta look at this picture. I gotta figure out if I'm bringing this color below or not. I kind of forget what the bottom looks like. Chill the family sounds awesome. Hi, Ashley. Oh, crew pretending you went. Okay. Rot rally in Austin, Texas. Awesome bikes. 98 degrees. Oh, goodness. It's warm. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Ashley. It's probably um, humid there, too, isn't it? Okay. Yes, I do bring this color below. So we're gonna do that. Make the craziest faces when I try to smoke it out below. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wipe off my brush, do a little blending, and then do some more purples. Gloomy weather, that's no fun. Yeah, inside, inside on those days, right? And this is weird, I am bringing this up a little higher than I normally go, but that's, um. That's what the look is, but we're gonna do a shimmer under the brow at the end, so that'll, you know, make it look a little better. <laughs> 90 in Ohio too? That is definitely warm for Ohio. I mean, I guess it's June now. That is really weird. It's June. Wow, I keep thinking it's still May for some reason. Seriously, it's going by too fast. <laughs> You are heartbroken on the look? No, we're doing the look. But it might be good. I, I never really thought about heartbroken with like a red with a purple. You should do it and take a picture for me. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> okay, so we are going to go through with a little regal now, but we're going to use, you know, the, actually the loose pigment aspect of it because we're going to get this a little bit wet with rose water. That just makes it into a creamy pigment. We're having a crazy heat wave. Apparently everyone's having a creamy pigment in Connecticut. All of a sudden it's 90s. Yeah, I think I think it's a, apparently a whole heat wave everywhere. Sounds like. <laughs> okay, so I'm just getting some on my brush. You don't have heartbroken? Okay, heartbroken to do it for me. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jennifer. Okay. I think we need some more rose butter and more pigment. We need more all together. I did not put it up. <laughs> and right down. Florida's a heat wave. Is that always or just like extra, extra hot there? Oh my goodness, in the hundreds, wow. I think today is supposed to be like 70 something. So not too bad. And then I think the rest of the week's supposed to rain. Just not fun. <laughs> Hi, Faith. Thank you, Hillary. I'm gonna use a few different purples today. Hi, Valerie. Thank you. 30 degrees in your house. Oh wait, 30 degrees Celsius? 
I made a mistake once before. I was like, 30 degrees, that's cold. How can you say it's hot? And then they're like, Celsius. <laughs> I don't know what that equals out to. Does that equal out to about 100 or 90s? Or I'm really bad. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like my, I keep my house, because we have Celsius here, but I don't really know what that means. I keep my house between 23 and 25 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is, though. I think that's 70s. So it's confusing. <laughs> I think it's Monday morning here, right? Yeah. Always starts weather. Oh, this is worth it. Oh yeah, if you're talking about Florida, I can imagine. But I like I like always shorts. Shorts is nice. <laughs> Wake up makeup's water resistant. So if you get wet, it's raining out, you're crying or anything, as long as you don't like rub your eyes, rub your face, it's not gonna go anywhere. But water resistant makes it easy to come off at night with like makeup remover, or cleanser, or whatever. From eating kabudos, I don't know what that is. I feel like the hair is broken there, that sucks though. The Shannon, 89 Alabama. Did you know Wet n Wild has stepped up the game for cheap makeup? I mean, it's quite Oh, I don't know. And I don't I don't talk about other brands on here, as you guys know. I mean, unless there was a specific, like, like I liked, you know, a specific lip product more or something, but I get all my makeup for free, so of course I'm using Unique when I'm loving it. Okay, just blending this in more. Oh, it's a sushi place? Awesome. And chicken rice trip, that makes sense too. I was gonna say, wait, didn't you say hot grill? <laughs> I was like, people better not be grilling sushi now. Hi, Brittany. I feel like I went too high on this side. I feel like just need a tiny bit of that glamorous. What, you're not allergic to makeup. What type of products are you allergic to in the makeup? Because you wouldn't just be allergic to makeup as a general sense, you'd be allergic to specific aspects. Do you know what specific aspects? It's usually chemicals that are in some makeup brands. And that's what I love about Unique is it's all hyperallergenic, naturally based, have no added chemicals. Does it get cold in Florida? Well, cold is like 60. <laughs> it doesn't get people freezing. And if it does, it's like one day a year. You know, that, that's a different story. I'm from upstate New York, so nothing, people say it gets cold here, it gets 40 here. <laughs> that's not cold. <laughs> Caroline, hey Melody, your York get pushed in the love bun. Oh, too cute, too cute. Okay, I think we're good enough. Like I said, we're gonna put a color at the end under the brow and that's gonna finish blending that aspect. Yes, yeah, so when you use drugstore brand, they have a lot of added chemicals. That's the reason they're cheaper too. Is because, you know, alcohol and other, there's plenty of other chemicals that are super cheap. And they put those as, in as fillers in the products. I was 21, I mean, I know. I believe that. Oh, awesome, Glenna. Thank you. Rating in Florida. 83 today. <laughs> 83 sounds good. Rating's never fun. But 83 sounds good. Because <laughs> cold rain's worse. Lighting kind of sucks in here today. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Hi, Kaylin. Hi, Lulu. Okay, now let's do a lid color. Pigments. <laughs> that's another thing in Canada. I don't know Celsius. I don't know what 25 is. I think that's kind of warm. That's about where I keep my house at, so that's kind of warm, right? 70s, maybe? Yeah, sure, was good. Like 90s, I know, everybody keeps saying hot everywhere. Must be some kind of heat wave. <laughs> it's gonna feel nice for most places for a while and then you're gonna get over it quickly, right? We need rain bad, oh, that sucks. 
I know nobody likes rain, but everybody needs it. <laughs> so we're gonna use Flirty, and we can add some rose water to make it a creamy pigment as well. And this is our lid color. Mary Bell. 70 something, <laughs> yeah, 30s hot, it's hot. 90 to 100, oh my goodness, warm everywhere. Well, that's good, I, oh goodness, I totally just hit my mirror and hit everything. Um, I totally would rather have even 100 degrees than like below chilling, personally. I hate the cold. I've had too many years of it in New York, <laughs> over it. Yes, Faith, anybody can use, um, the makeup. There's different. There's different products for different skin types. You know, different foundations, different skincare products. We do have an, um, a skincare line that's anti-aging as well. Different serums, our anti-aging night cream. Awesome. 92 New York. Oh goodness, <laughs> loving the warm weather. Good. I love the sun more than anything too. I just like soaking up some sun. And as you see, I'm just pressing. So two things, pressing is gonna make it more pigmented. And it, that's how I like to blend. If I do too much rubbing, it kind of rubs away. So if you wanna rub away product, like, cause you have too much, then that's when you rub. But that's why I do that. Are there in New York, we're very similar weather. Where are you, where's everybody's in New York though? Um, whereabouts? I'm originally from outside of Rochester. I don't wanna go back there though. Visit, visit family, but I am, I'm visiting the summer and I'm happy then. <laughs> I do not want to go back in the winter. It was like, are you gonna go home for the holidays? That doesn't sound fun. I don't want to go back in the winter. <laughs> I love cold weather. But you never really like spear cold. But yeah, that's exactly what it has to do with. I mean, I know a lot of people that live in cold weather that like it. I think especially if you have a cold activity, like if you like ski or snowboard, I think lots of the times you like it more. Like as a kid, I loved the cold more because you know we used to go sledding and stuff like that. And still even as a doll, I would go sledding. And, you know, it'd make the cold bearable. You know, you're having a little bit of fun. <laughs> Bye, Cheyenne. Live above Watertown. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Couple hours from where I'm at. 94 in Indiana. I think we're pretty much good. And just a little bit more to even it out on this side. And then let's do our lid color. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do my highlighting color first and then do the lid color. Awesome, Shara, glad you love. Really believe that what you get is what you pay for, exactly. And that goes for anything. That goes for hair care products. That goes for even getting your hair done at all. Skincare products, makeup, your clothes. I mean, I buy a lot of cheaper clothes, but they never last me as long as, you know, sometimes the, the cheaper v-necks and stuff I wear. After a few washes, you can see it's starting to fall apart. But then the, the more expensive clothes or bras or, you know, buying Victoria's Secret, you know, a lot of people think you're overpaying, but when it lasts, it lasts. So that goes for anything. <laughs> In Southern Carolina, it doesn't get cold. But I went to PA with my boyfriend Christmas, it was 70 plus. Oh my goodness, in PA it was 70 plus. Oh, and then I'll cut a negative three. That sounds like the Northeast. That totally kills me. That's too funny. Or I was gonna get, I was gonna get, oh, let's use for my palette that I made again. Um, curious, curious, for under my brow. I'm just gonna use a liner shader brush. 76 in Jackson, Wyoming. With a flood warming, oh goodness. As some people need rain, you have too much. Yeah, when it gets cold in Florida, I bet you love it. That definitely makes sense. Okay, so we're putting a little curious under the brow. I'm gonna do the other side and then we're gonna blend in between. Ooh, look at that, look at the highlight though. Doing really light motions to blend. If you have trouble putting, like when you want light motions, hold it closer to the end of the brush and you'll naturally, you know, do a lighter motion. Oh, you hear my cat? Yeah, my husband just got home. I, I heard him out there, so he's apparently meowing at him for some reason. Meows aren't always a bad thing, but most of the time, 
He's, a, he's just a whiner. He's like, I want to snuggle. And then a meow, meow. <laughs> I know, I love the purple too. This is a Z palette. Um, I mean, I know there's plenty of other brands. I definitely am happy with what I with what I got. It was a little bit more expensive, but again, like we just said, you get for what you pay for or whatever. Um, but um, this is from Amazon. I did this um because we have a million loose pigments. We have 36 or 37, which they are actually about to retire too. Some of the colors are already out of stock. So if you want to get any of these beautiful colors, get them before they're gone. But um, I made some of them like some of my favorite colors into a palette form. Um for when I travel because these are a good size. If I want to bring, how many is in here? Four times seven, 28. If I want to bring 28 with me, that'd be a lot more, you know, space than this. So that's what's awesome. Such a space saver. Yeah, I just use rose water and then just let it dry. So the same thing with when I use rose water on my lid, I did that this way, but it, you know, as it dries, you know, it just dries to a pressed pigment. You know, you can use alcohol too. Um, I think people have said, at least I've never done it, when you use alcohol, it ends up making it a little bit less pigmented. Um, so I'd be careful with that too. There's 34? 17? Oh yeah, there's 17 to each, so that times two is 34. I couldn't, I couldn't do the math in my head. I knew there were 17 matte and 17 shimmer. Try to do the math, I suck. Okay. <laughs> Valerie make thank you, Cheryl. That's what I'm hoping they're doing, which is weird. It just happened to be a good time. I made this palette, and then, like, three days later, I find out that the pigments are about to retire. Or the same day. It was, like, right after. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, a little bit more curious. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, this is only in my head. Nobody told me, so don't don't take my word for it. But the only reason I'm going to get rid of the pigments is if, like, they're coming out with something better, basically. Um, not saying that they're going to be the same color. So if you like a specific color, that's the big thing. So many of these colors, like these purples... I'm like obsessed with these greens so I'm not sure if they're gonna come out with those exact colors but they might come out with something like you know individual pigments um, that are pressed or like create your own pigments I'm hoping for something along those lines but you never really know the new products so this these retire on the end of um, end of next month July and new products tend to release in, in September just so you are aware too so I'm, that's why I'm assuming but I don't really know so don't don't take my word on nothing <laughs> Either that or it'll just come out with new of our of our normal palettes, you know, in different types of colors. I guess this is one of our palettes. Um, palette number five. They could come out with this with different, you know, different colors too. So there's, they're going to come out with something, I'm assuming. We just got to figure out what. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, it's going to take... So if you see the color on the inside, what I'm going to do is mix some of this with Brilliant from palette five. So I'm going to put this on my lid first. This is a Mused Cream Shadow. It's like a... Bluish, greenish, turquoiseish, turquoiseish. I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> Tirana said something's coming. Wait, is that a person's name or are you talking about in Tirana? And what does that mean? <laughs> I know, Kristen. No, they've definitely hinted at something is obviously coming. Something. Um, I just have no idea. It could be, you know, individual pressed. It could be pigments reformulated. It could be... It could be anything, um, but all I know is I stocked up on these because I'm obsessed with their pigments. If you watch me regularly, and I love our palettes, I love our cream shadows, but I love the variety of colors of the pigments, so my favorites, I stocked up with like three or four of each because I'm obsessed, and I'm not sure if you know. Other things are going to compete for me. <laughs> so if you love them, get them. You have up to 90 days to return, by the way, if you didn't know that, or to exchange. You have up to 14 days to return, up to 90 days to exchange. So if you find out something else is coming that you actually might like more, but I don't know. It's hard for me to top them. <laughs> so get them if you want them. At least in a couple colors, especially, that are gorgeous. Thank you, Bree. Hi, Verna. I'm going to kind of wipe my brush off so there's not too much product and then um, blend it up. And then we're going to put some silver on it. Because, you know, there's not a color that exactly matches that picture. So you mix some colors to match it. If you guys are just tuning in, too, make sure to say hi. Tell me where you're coming from. Feel free to share. I'm 
Where's the cat? Okay. Some Brilliant from Palette 5. This silver color. And we're just gonna take a little bit, like you don't, I, like I just barely pressed it on there, that's all you need. Cause it's easy to add more, but that color is pigmented as can be. I burned it at. Do you use soap and water wash your brushes? Yeah, yeah, they use Dawn dish soap or, um, what is the thing from Posh? Whatever, whatever that thing that people use to. But yeah, people use baby shampoo, there's a million, there's actual specific cleaners for them, whatever works. Well, thank you, Mama. Hi, Janice. Hi, Denise. Hi, Ernie. Hi, Katina. Hi, Wendy from Mississippi. Awesome. Rochelle. Gender Bender. Yeah, there we go. That's what it's called. Thank you. I think anything, anything works to clean them. Anything that's not going to leave a residue. So like typical bar soap, I don't like to use, um, you know, I don't like to use hand soap specifically on them. That's why I like the dish soap. Cause you know, it helps get rid of grease too. All okay, right. So there we go. That's the color we make. Well, thank you, Portia. Thank you, Michelle. How do you make for good fish? I don't like to do people's makeup. That's not my thing. <laughs> you guys are always wanting me to. I mean, obviously not that I can't, but. Or not that I can hear, like, it's, but I don't know. I just have fun playing with my makeup. I'm not a makeup artist. Whole different, whole different thing. Trying to do makeup on somebody else's face. There we go. Thank you, Sarah. I love me. I love me some purples. I mean, I love so many colors. <laughs> There's some like blue looks I love and I'm like, I'm obsessed with this. There's one green look that's like my favorite. It's so hard. I love everything on me, especially colors on my eyes. I like, I like playing with eye colors more than lip colors for me. <laughs> but I play with lip colors as you guys know. What are we doing? Was there a line on it? I didn't even like look. Well, there's not line on the picture. So I don't think we're gonna do that. I think I want some white on the waterline though. I could do baby wings, I guess, but I don't see any wings in the picture. Thank you, Rachel. I know. I feel like it's so much harder to do somebody else's. Like, everybody's got different eye shapes and, and face shapes and preferences on what they like. I don't even know. Especially, like, I would not want to do it where I was getting paid to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Let's just use our pencil liner and do baby wings today. Just to get a little something. Yeah, I like Dawn Dish Up a lot. I feel like it's really bubbly and cleaning and stuff. Like I can really feel like it's getting the grease out. If you're just tuning in now, I go through everything at the end of what I used. And everything I did use is available at kilosbeautytalk.com. You can't say that, Leslie. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know how I'd be undoing it to others. That one became thicker than I was anticipating. <laughs> you gave your dog a, dung, a bath of dog dish up? I mean, that makes sense. I know that you can use it on other animals. Oh, awesome, JB. I know, right? And definitely, I'm not even going to attempt somebody else's mascara. That one, I'm just never, ever trying to attempt because even a lot of makeup artists I know, like, won't put on other people's mascara. Like, some will. But I wouldn't want somebody putting mascara on me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even know. Now this one a little thick. No, Lindy. No. When we move, yes, but not not to visit. It's a pain bringing him back here to Japan. A lot of paperwork, so I'm not dealing with new paperwork, new quarantine, new all that crap. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that again. And I'm not paying like $500, $600 each way to, to fly him to, because it is not cheap. <laughs> it's real mild and takes his shine gloss. Yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. White eyeliner, I just love, it makes your eyes pop and appear bigger. I just feel like it really brightens up my eyes. I feel like if I look tired, which I don't necessarily today at all, but if I do look tired for the day, I feel like it just wakes my eyes up. I love it. And it doesn't close, like black eyeliner, if you do that all around your eyes, which totally looks good and it looks good on so many people, it's going to close your eyes and make you, your eyes look smaller and, you know, not as bright. <laughs> um, but I do black eyeliner. I used to, especially more all over, you know, it's not like it looks bad ever. But um, it's just a very different look. And especially for the summer, I don't know, I just like light and bright, that type of thing. Oh, people make me laugh. <laughs> okay, Unique 3 Fire Lash Mascara. Let's get these lashes going to finish this eye look. I totally got black eyeliner on my nose. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, you should try white. It was weird, for the longest time I was using black more than white. Now I've been using like, well the past like, at least like six, eight months I've been using white more, more than black. And like, they're like practically the same size now. Like for a while, like my black, they're like exactly the same size. My black was way smaller than the rest of my liner. So this is like a liner that hasn't been used that often. You know, so it looks full size. Okay, so I've had this since my presenters kit. You see how long this stuff lasts? And that was 19 months ago, I joined, okay? And this is one that's maybe been sharpened once. That's how long they last. These liners last forever. But this was the shortest out of any of them. Now my weight's starting to get short because I've been using it so often. <laughs> but still, they last forever. It's crazy. And they're not even like expensive or pencil liners. They're only 15 bucks. And it literally, like if you used it every day, I, I would probably still bet on it that it would last you two years if you used it every day. Cause I don't sharpen it every time I use it. Because when I sharpen it, it, you know, it's enough product to last for, you know, a couple of uses. You just ordered the pressed powder and you've been using Unique a year. I need to read the rest of this message now. <laughs> just use a liquid foundation, but now it's the summer. My skin's oily. You got it. Okay, tell me as soon as you try that powder because that powder is my life, is my favorite. Unless you have, unless you have very dry skin, that's the only time I recommend not using it alone. But I like using it alone even. It's it's my favorite. <laughs> I know that comment just made me laugh so much. <laughs> oh, goodness, train hands again. Okay, so I just put a base coat. Wait, we gotta do our bottom lashes. Oh God, this is why I don't do it with this eye. I can't do it. I was gonna try to do it with my um, right hand. I can't make a total mess total mess okay we don't need to put that back on sorry we did oh my goodness I have just made a mess of myself press powder is your next word press powder is my favorite okay so I did base coat on each of my lashes now we're doing more gel And then I don't know who or what that is. Is that a... <laughs> Sinon. What is that from? Okay, now we're gonna go through the fibers and this will really give you that length and volume. Attach to your lashes to give you even more length and volume than possible with any other mascara. And just mid to ends is the only area you need. You know, you don't need to put it all the way to the base of your lashes. There's no need for that. 
Is that on the Disney movie? I don't even know. When did that come out? I have never heard of that. <laughs> I suck. Hi, Rebecca. What is it about? Now we're sealing them in with a gel. Very important step. I hate how long these comments take to come through. <laughs> I don't even know more about this movie. Okay, there we go. Lashes on that side done. Girl that lives in space. Interesting. I've never heard of that. Xenon. Xenon is how it's pronounced? Goodness. I feel like I've watched most Disney stuff. Is it like a Disney movie or like was on Disney Channel? Or was it like in theaters and everything? I don't know if I never heard of this. If it was on Disney Channel, then I definitely understand why I haven't heard of it. Um, Lauren, I've actually tried, I mean, some other people have said they use the fibers, but I tried a while ago shortly after I joined, um, to use the fibers with other mascara and it didn't ad adhere. It would start falling throughout the day. So I would suggest not to. Oh, it's on Disney Channel? Oh, see, yeah, I didn't have Dis I didn't have cable until I was literally an adult paying for my own cable. Well, maybe, maybe right before, maybe the end of high school. I'm trying to think. Did I even have cable? I don't even know if I had cable in high school. I don't think I did. No, I didn't have, I definitely didn't have cable as a child though. So, that's, yeah, I don't know much on Disney Channel. Lizzie McGuire's most I know. Of course I watched her movie growing up, but if it was on ABC Saturday morning cartoons, but they had the Disney stuff, like, because they had That So Raven on there every Saturday morning, then I would have watched it, but I couldn't watch Disney growing up. That definitely makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I know. My husband's mentioned Halloween Town to me before. He's like, wait, you haven't seen Halloween Town? It was a couple years ago because I was like getting obsessed. You know, every time, you know, Halloween comes around, I'm like, you know, I watch Hocus Pocus. I love Hocus Pocus and maybe some other Halloween movies, but especially Hocus Pocus. And he's like, you never watched Halloween Town? And I was like, no, I didn't have cable. I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't be sorry you mentioned it, but that's why, I, yeah, that makes sense why I haven't heard of it and why I don't know what it is. <laughs> You know, doing a bullet, I'd rather focus on eyes than lips. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. And this isn't even like that crazy, but I know a lot of people that wouldn't technically want to wear this out of public. I don't care. I'm going to the post office today. I'm maybe grocery shopping. Do I need groceries? I don't know. I always need a couple things, right? <laughs> always a good focus. That's what I love to watch. I think what other is there is there other not Disney movies um Halloween movies what else do I like is there something else I like in Halloween I can't remember Hocus Pocus and Bay <laughs> to make me laugh uh yeah you have two copies on DVD I got I got one copy on DVD <laughs> thank you Darian I can't wait to try the new splash I'm gonna check the post office cross our fingers what's today's date I think it's almost been two weeks. Not quite. Not quite. By the end of this week. I'm hoping by the end of this week we got our nudes. Except our new splash slip. Except to, as of yesterday, two of our colors is already out of stock, which means you can't get in this month's kudos. You lost out. This is why you don't wait. So if you want any products, get them before they're out of stock always. Wait, I, Amber, I, didn't, I think I missed your first comment because I only see you're talking about 1990 movie adventure comedy. But I, I didn't see the first comment. <laughs> to look under the bed. See, how, yeah, I haven't seen that. Is there any other Disney movies I like? Or not Disney movies, Halloween movies? I can't think for the life of me. Okay, what are we doing? Foundation, foundation, liquid foundation, let's do. Where is my liquid foundation? Is it in my drawer? Let's use some ball over. Shake it up good, empty the dropper so everything, you know, shakes up properly. Everything, you know, it's mineral makeup so it separates and makes sure it shakes. Like the blue, awesome. I mixed a couple colors. I'll go over all the colors at the end too. 
Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, I think I've heard of that, but no, I haven't seen that. Oh, I feel like I still got cat hair like itching my nose. Thank you, Brianna. Okay, where's my brush? Here it is, liquid foundation brush. How do I order makeup? Um, is, it, is that what you mean by other? I didn't know, it could be a typo. Um, but we are, that's Ireland, right? Yeah, we are um, about to launch in Ireland. So definitely message me, Kelly. Um, so we're about to launch in Ireland next month, right? July 1st? Yeah, July 1st, we're about to launch in there. You should get in on the floor running because that will be awesome. Or if you just want products, definitely that's awesome too. Um, do you not have any little stars for the corner of your eyes? No, I don't. No, I would have, I should, I guess I should have mentioned that, but no. <laughs> I don't have um, any, anything like that. If I did, maybe that'd be cool. I'd be afraid to kind of get in my eye as well, but um but what was I going to say? Oh shoot, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, be afraid to get in my eye, but I don't have it. I don't have like easy access. Maybe, you know, if I planned it ahead of time and bought something online, but. <laughs> um, no, I do like, let's do that today. Not that. Let's mix some BB cream with this. Although I use a lot of liquid foundation, whatever. We'll just add a little bit of BB cream. Let's add some BB cream to this because if you have dry skin, this combo with the BB cream with the liquid foundation is my favorite. I personally, I know a lot of people love the BB Roo. And it's definitely great for many skin types. For me, I'm too oily and it's just too thick on my skin. Because um, the, the, the loose concealer mix with that makes it a little thicker. The liquid foundation is very thin and light so it doesn't get too thick on my face. So personally, I like this combo better. So if you have dry skin, I love this combo. Or you can mix it with our loose concealer. How do you like the liquid foundation brush? I feel like it absorbs a lot of your product. Um, what you can do is put it on the back of your hand, dip it in and rub it in if you're feeling like, but I don't feel like that. I feel like um, as I'm rubbing on my face, it's blending everywhere. So I'm gonna start with dabbing it and then blend it out everywhere. But you can either, either that or just put directly on your face and then blend it in. And this is about a medium coverage. Let me mix these together. If you want more of a coverage, you can do two things. You can either throw in a little bit of our Skin Perfecting Concealer and then you'll definitely get that full coverage. Or what I'm gonna do is just top it off with a little bit of our pressed powder. Although I don't think I actually need it for more coverage today. For me, I'm just gonna use it so I don't get oily. I know, I'd be so worried about getting my eye too. That's why, like, I'm scared. Like, there's definitely a chance that Unique could be coming out with um, glitter, you know, at some point. It's not like they never said anything, but I'm assuming glitter is very in. Um, I'd be, like, happy and nervous at the same time if they get that. Like, because you know I'm going to try it. But I'm really scared to try glitter at the same time. So I'm hoping if they come out with some kind of glitter, it's more, like, natural than, like, glitter, glitter. And then they find something to do with it. I don't know. But I'm definitely scared to get glitter in my eye. Did I get the Howdy Plum Pump? I ordered it. I'm just waiting for it in the mail. It usually takes me about two weeks to get most orders. So since that released last Monday, I'm probably going to get it next week. Sorry, just scrolling back, see if I missed anything. Oh my goodness. Where is it? I feel those cat hair. Oh, I see one. I see one. I got one. Like baby, baby, little fine hairs. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Okay. So that's, um, I guess, about a medium coverage. It, it's like, leaves it not dewy, but almost a little bit dewy. Um, but because, I, so if you don't like a matte finish and or you don't get oily at all, you don't need any any powder on top. But I'm just going to use a tiny bit of powder. I think I'm going to use Color Velour right now. Um, and I use Velour in the Look Foundation and the BB Cream and Bisque. Um, but I'm just going to put a little bit of this just to kind of set my face. So if you use the pad it comes with, this is full coverage on its own. I'm just gonna use the brush and like literally just lightly tap some on and it's just gonna set my makeup. That blend, thank you. <laughs> I like the combo. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Nicole. It's fun, light, summery. I'm glad you guys chose this. Um, we're definitely probably gonna do the other looks at some point, just um, not sure when. The, the B, I think it was B, that look. Um, is like Redskins colors and my husband's a Redskins fan so I might do that look when it's um when it's you know football season or something <laughs> two in a week of their play maybe maybe let's do that you have a glitter palette and you love it that's good Jimmy 
that's what I'm hoping if they get something along those lines, if they get it at all. But I'm definitely, definitely afraid whenever, whenever that does happen. <laughs> Cause I'm assuming eventually at some point they're going to, right? I just got this recently. What did I get that? What does that say? Forever 21, forever 21. <laughs> we just went shopping the other day and I totally forgot where I got this. Um, bronzer, Hermosa, our medium shade, blusher brush to apply it. What I just used, Kelly, I don't know if you missed that. You can watch how I applied it, but our BB cream with a, mixed with our liquid foundation, I feel like is amazing for dry skin. I definitely recommend, um, as soon as this, um, video is over to rewatch, you can just fast forward to that part, obviously, if you don't want to watch the rest, totally up to you. But, um, then you can see how I applied I applied it how much I used in that type of thing. But that I definitely feel like is the best combo for, for, um, what is it called? For dry skin. <laughs> it's homemade and hypothetic. Oh, cool. Okay, I don't know what to do for my lips. I wish I had her nude splash because I would definitely throw that on. What should I do though? Let's do some highlighter. Let's use Angelic again because you know I love me some Angelic highlighter. This is not a highlighter. This is an eye color, but it works amazing. Like amazing as a highlighter. And this is going to be discontinued soon, so you need to get a couple. I got like literally five on hand because this is my life. This is like my favorite. My favorite in general, like eye color, highlighter, everything. Like, seriously, it's like blinding. It's amazing. Well, to do swagger. Cause I think, I think purple or nude are our two options, right? I know, Tina, I can't wait to Oh wait, did you get four of the new ones now? Like waiting for the other two? Cause I was gonna, I was just thinking like, how did you only get four when there's sets of three? Okay, but do you, I'm assuming you mean then um, you're just waiting for the other ones. I realized that, oh my God, like seriously, get this before it's gone, get angelic, 1250. And this lasts forever, I've never gone through this yet. But I got, you know, I got enough to last me the last 10, next 10 years of my life. <laughs> Purple ombre, sentimental, soft, soft pink. That's not even like part of my look. Thank you, Adrian. Oh goodness, let me get some colors out. Where's put that away? Put that away. What colors? You've been waiting for me to go live the whole time I was live. Oh goodness, that color was angelic. It's an eye pigment. So it's under, if you go to under eyes and under mineral loose eye pigments, that's what they are. 12.50 each, you can get a set of four for 45. You can get four of these, okay? I have, I just got a set of four and I had one already. So now I have five, including this, you know, plus this one. Like seriously, it's my life. Like there's gonna be nothing that's gonna be able to replace that. So get your hands on it. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of some combos. Sentimental, sentimental is like, I feel like it would definitely match my eyes. It's just a little bit pinkier, pinkier-ish. Thank you, Lauren. I guess we could do swagger. Maybe those are our two purple options. What's some nude options? Plush or... Hmm. We could do... Ooh, plush with well-to-do. Wait, is this plush? This is prim, isn't it? Where's plush? Plush with well-to-do? Stubborn, stubborn. Which one's stubborn? Well, that's a red. What are you talking about? I'm not doing stubborn. My goodness, don't you don't. <laughs> okay, let's maybe let's let's give some reactions. So sentimental. Give me. I'm gonna forget. Give me a like for this combo. Well to do with plush. Give me a heart 
for swagger and you can give me a laughing face for sentimental. Laugh at me. <laughs> Swagger with curious, yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. We could do, we can, we can figure out ombres, ombres with it. Okay, wait, so I said like, heart, laugh, right? I forget which order I say it all the time. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. I think I see my laugh now. I don't know what I want to do. I want to do them all. I think I see most hearts right now. And I'm seeing some good amount of likes coming through. Oh goodness, now I see a lot of likes. Don't be bashing those those likes things. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know which way I want to go with this. Well, technically I could do this one now. Because when I go out, so I'm, so I'm going to eat dinner shortly with um, my hubby. But, um... So I'm probably not going to be keeping my lip on forever. But I could do this look later when I go out and do this look now. If you guys can't make a decision. <laughs> I've seen a lot more legs now. My ear's ringing. Are you guys talking about me? <laughs> my god, my ear's ringing bad. Now I see more legs. You guys are going to make me go crazy. I love it all. Let's try swagger. Let's try swagger. You know what? I want this with flirty in the middle. That purple that I have on me. Let's do that. Oh, don't say that, Crystal. People, I mean, if you watch me when I started, you would say the same thing about me. Don't say that. Don't put nobody down. Awesome, Lupe. It's normally I do this lip color with um with a nude like eye like like elegant or palette one or something because mm. I definitely love this lip color. I never thought of doing it with the purple. Okay, so what I always do with this lip color and it lasts me like hours with this lip color is um like blot it off and that gets rid of some of the moisture from it. You know, not necessarily the coloring. And it's awesome. Um, should we do some flirty though in the middle? Maybe let's try it. Light purple. Let's see, let's use my let's use my pinky so it'll fit in there. Easiest. I might have to use it. We're gonna use it out of the actual loose pigment because it's not gonna be enough. <laughs> it's hard to get enough from the palette. Where is there it is? Thank you, Angela. Or at least Oh my goodness. I get too busy seeing everybody else's that is your next lip color also. Thank you, Tina. And this lip color I've seen on like all different skin types. All different, you know, hair colors, eye colors. Like this color just looks amazing on anybody. Anybody. Perfection, thank you, Cheryl. Okay, let's see, I'm shoving it in the corner of my nail. So hard when your nails are long to try to fit them in there. Goodness. Almost makes it like more metallic-y. <laughs> Cause this this lipstick, if you, this is your first time, if you use other lipsticks, like other unique lipsticks or other, or, um, or you haven't, the consistency of Swagger is a little bit different than our other lipsticks. A little bit less. It's still creamy and soft, like it's not drying, but it's a little bit more metallic-y than creamy. And I swear this makes it even look more metallic-y. Just leave it as that. Should I add, like, Curious or something in the middle too? Or a lighter highlighter color, like or Angelic? Add that in the middle. Or just leave that as is. I feel like really metallic-y. <laughs> so funny. Does it match? Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, April, that's probably mine too. And I do love, I don't use it enough anymore, but I do love um, Upper Class too. This is like the only lipstick I used to wear for like a long time when I first joined. Just leave it. Thank you, Kayla. Any other? I saw one for Curious. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. Any other boots? No, it definitely doesn't dry out your lips. Nope. Nope. The only time I use the pigments, though, is with either the lip glosses or the lipsticks. The lip liners, it just doesn't adhere to, you know. Did you put all of your eyeshadow palettes in the C palette? No, I put some loose pigments and made them pressed pigments. It does match? Okay, good. Well, you guys all like it, so we'll just keep it as is. And then if I, um, if I do change my lip for later, maybe I'll take a picture again and um, post it, too. Thank you, Mary. Oh, yeah, let's go through all my eyeshadow colors. Except now I forget what the heck did I even use. Okay, we did Glamorous. This deep purple on the outer V. Um, we got Regal, wet with rose water, and put that right there. And we got Flirty, wet with rose water, and we put that right there. Then we took Amused Cream Shadow, put that on the inner corner, and then topped it with just a tad of Brilliant from Palette 5. Um, white waterline on the bottom. A little bit of black pencil liner um, for just itty bitty wings. Um, Curious under my eyebrows as a highlighter. Brow liner. Angelic, which you need as a highlighter for here. Which you can even use Curious too. It's just a little bit more subtle. So you can definitely use Curious as highlighter here. That's what's awesome is all our products are so universal. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Tina. Um, and then we did Swagger lipstick, our purple lipstick, with a little bit flirty, which was the color in the middle of my eye, in the middle. Give it just a slight ombre, just very subtle, nothing too crazy. Uh, is, that every, is that everything we did? A little Hermosa bronzer, BB cream mixed with liquid foundation, topped with pressed powder. Um, Kristen, I'm not positive, probably the extra, extra large, because this one's the large, and it would definitely maybe fit three palettes. I don't think it would fit more than three. I'm not sure if the extra large would fit them well. Maybe it has. I know some people have been doing that. I, I find my palettes a fine size, so I'm just going to kind of leave them as is, but do you feel like the pencil liners go on as well as the liquid? The pencil and liners and liquid are very, very different things. One's liquid, one's pencil, but the pencil liners do glide on very smooth, um, but it's, I mean, it's very different than a liquid in general. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Debbie. So I think I'm gonna get off. I hope you guys like this purple look for today. Um, take some pictures and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for liking, sharing, and everything. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Um, send me a picture of natural lighting too if you want help with your color. And everything's available at kaylasbeautytalk.com. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.